First, much more money to fight reckless driving here in Indiana. Yeah, CBS 4's Courtney Spinelli spoke with several agencies about how they're going to use that money and why it's needed. Numbers are pretty staggering and pretty sobering. On Indiana roadways, people are dying at rates higher than pre-pandemic levels in traffic crashes. Which is why the Indiana Criminal Justice Institute is awarding $6.5 million in traffic safety grants to more law enforcement agencies across the state. What we're trying to do here uh, with these funds and partnering with these agencies is we're really trying to save lives. Numbers show the reckless driving situation is only getting worse and will continue if things don't change. Indiana alone, as of kind of the beginning of October, we were about 683 traffic fatalities, which is an 8% increase over 2019. Data shows if the pace continues and with the holiday travel season ahead, Indiana could surpass 900 traffic deaths by the end of the year, one of the highest in the last decade. Nearly every single crash is preventable, right? So um, our goal is to increase our enforcement efforts. Uh, by doing that, it increases our visibility. Indiana State Police received $1 million, one of the two highest in the state. ISP says it will target those enforcement efforts by utilizing data and looking at statistics to try and change them. And target those aggressive drivers, target those areas that have been deemed as high crash areas. Like other recipient agencies, troopers will have the opportunity to do this on their time off and hopefully help reduce the number of crashes overall. Unfortunately, these things tend to come and go in spurts for some reason, and we've uh, had an unfortunate run of it here lately here in Johnson County. The Johnson County Sheriff's Office works with Franklin and Greenwood Police on traffic enforcement efforts. The three received a combined $82,500 to put towards their enforcement efforts in the hopes of saving at least one more life. What people don't realize is that, you know, it's not always their own life that they're that they're putting in jeopardy, uh, as you said, but unfortunately it's others. Reporting for CBS 4 News, I'm Courtney Spinelli. Courtney, thank you. The Criminal Justice Institute says that IMPD got the biggest tra traffic safety grant it awarded at $1.5 million. IMPD also recently shared how it's taking a district-by-district -district approach to stop reckless driving. You can see that plan on our website, cbs4indy.com.